I really enjoy the avatar that you took the time to make that avatar <laughs> to come on the podcast with us. And because that was my initial, initial goal. I just wanted to make a course. And so what I did was I made a channel, right? Because I had like an old email. Like my channel says it, it, it was made in like 2018. But, yeah. you know, it, it, I actually started like three months ago. And I just made my first video. It was like remote events, blah, 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 something. And that was literally just to practice. So this channel, I, did, I didn't intend to grow it at all. Yeah, so I actually so that, like nice. I actually just like sat there staring at my screen just like watching <laughs> you talk about how a part won't spin because AI can't make it spin. I mean, yeah, every, in every single video, what people always say is that they just like they, they came for just the dumb thumbnail and kept watching in, in almost every video that happens. Oh yeah. Like just me me ranting it's, about some some dumb dumb yeah, shit. Yeah, it's always the thumbnail. Like it always is, yeah. Yeah, like you just said, you're you hardly put any any editing into your videos but if you yeah, have yeah. like a nice clean thumbnail that explains what the video is actually about because when i saw that ai video i didn't even i didn't even read the title i just saw that big fat uh, yeah. character you had i saw a block <laughs> <laughs> and i and i saw Amazing. garbage and i clicked on it and i watched it would you say it was like luck that happened or like you just put in the amount of work that you got the value of there, there was a point where i started to think like okay like i actually do have a potential with this channel like should i actually put in effort because beforehand it was like okay whatever just make a video you know don't think about it too much still teach still provide value you know be funny sometimes but um i i, th I think there's luck involved in everything i think it's just how many times you test your luck right i i read this book once which had an amazing analogy right so i'll nerd out for like a minute right you're standing in front of like a gumball machine right and then you have you know your basic like i don't know some white gumball right that like does nothing yeah and you have the occasional golden gumball like golden gumball is like you know, 100k views right yeah so you twist the gumball machine and then you have a chance to get a white gumball or a golden gumball so obviously every time you, you know make you have... a video you're basically just putting in 25 cents to get a gumball effectively every time you make it this every time you put an action you twist the gumball machine so obviously when someone is like like oh it's luck it's luck but it's like yeah but i'm twisting it much faster than you are right so yeah. sure it's luck but i have much more chances to get lucky because i see so many people starting shit like drop shipping which i tried yeah i tried you know? that <laughs> but it, yeah, everyone tried it <laughs> was um i made like 30 bucks and that's it 30 bucks that's pretty good i got i stopped when they asked me for like an account like like facebook ads i'm like i'm not doing this yeah <laughs> like, facebook like... banned me for no reason yeah basically like you because you have to understand what, what you actually want to do right and obviously not in the sense of like oh pursue your passions guys haha <laughs> um because yeah. you know i have seen that advice and like you know there there's some truth to that i think you need to understand what you need like lo logically so let's say some people need money right like they're like okay like i actually you know need to start making a good amount of money because maybe i'm moving out soon or maybe you know i just want to have nicer life experiences and then i think the next thing of of like actually doing that is understanding what can you do that aligns with your current goals and desires. Have you ever gone through any failures in your career? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not what, really. what do you like? <laughs> not really. I mean, okay, the failure, I would say that the, the, the main failure that I've had was just trying to be a creator rather than someone who's gone through the experience which I'm trying to help people prevent, right? Because well, like, well, let's say you make a video, right? You start to like get in all into the logistics, like, oh, does this thumbnail look good? Does it have good color grading, right? Which obviously yeah. that kind of matters. But I think making a video from that perspective and not from a perspective of like, like I was in this scenario, right? Like, mm. how would I help myself? You know, because my tutorials, like every, like the way I speak is how I would teach me back then because me back then was confused as fuck right me back then was like <laughs> yeah, like exactly. i'd watch a tutorial and be like this is like bullshit like this doesn't help which was annoying and yeah yeah i think yeah that that was my only like, mistake i guess but yeah but every, everything mean, else seems to be fine months, but... you can't you can't really go through a lot in three months that's I mean, another can, thing yeah but... three months yeah but smarty yeah when i asked smarty about it he he'd been at it for about probably four years Oh yeah, I mean yeah. Yeah, Smarty's a really like, yeah. dedicated guy.